Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the manual therapy skill to treat the proximal radio ulnar joint using the radial head posterior to anterior mobilization with movement technique. This technique is going to help in treating the patients who complain of limitation in the range of forearm pronation and supination movements either due to pain or stiffness. So to treat such patients, the therapist is going to make them assume the supine lying position. The elbow is going to remain flexed somewhere around 30 to 90 degrees and the forearm is going to remain in the mid prone position. The therapist is going to sit beside the patient facing in the cephalad direction. Now from here, the therapist is first going to locate the lateral epicondyle so as to reach to the radial head and then the corded hand fingers are going to wrap around the forearm so that the fingers actually go medially to stabilize the ulna bone. The thumb of the cephalad hand is going to be placed over the radial head which is going to be reinforced by the thumb of the corded hand. So this is going to be the position for the deliverance of the posterior to anterior glide to the radial head. Now from here, after stabilizing the ulna, the therapist is going to deliver a glide to the radial head using both the thumbs. And now from here, the therapist is going to ask the patient to start performing the offending movement which is either supination or pronation while the glide is maintained. Also, the patient can be instructed to use the other hand to reinforce the end range of movement if it is painless. Please remember that the treatment is considered to be successful only if the glide is painless to the patient. The dosage for the performance of this mobilization with movement is going to be around 6 to 10 repetitions and 3 to 5 sets in a single session. So this was all about the radial head mobilization with movement technique that can be utilized to treat restricted supination and pronation movement. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.